And so, like, the guy went around to the other side of the car and, like, guess what he saw hanging from the door handle? Oh my gosh, I don't know. What was it, Chad? What was hanging from the door handle? I need to know. Like, it was a hook. <laughs> A big shout out to some of our amazing fans for liking and commenting on our videos. Cal162, Steve Pod, Ming World, Olivia Moss, Sarah Toy Lover, The Fab Paws, Mika and Chloe in Adventureland, Maria Moisho, Katie241104, and Jasmine Long. And thank you to everyone who watches and comments or makes great suggestions for the Ricardo family videos. We hope you love this video. Johnny and Jasmine's spooky campfire story. Like, okay, little dudes. I guess that just leaves Shay and her last story. I don't know, Chad. I don't really know any stories, especially not scary ones. Come on, Shay. Like, you have to do it. It's tradition. Yeah, Shay, please. Well, okay, I'll see if I can come up with something. Yay! Okay, um, I guess I'll start with... Sha. Shay, like, you need the flashlight. Yeah, it's not scary otherwise. Oh, right. Thanks, Chad. Sha. I, like, can't wait to hear this one. It's gonna be good. I know it. Well, hmm. Oh, I got one. It happened on a night just like this when a little girl went missing in the woods. <gasps> a little girl? Like, like me? Exactly like you. Oh, no. Or even like Tabitha. Like me? No. Like any of the young girls that are here. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared already. Go on. As I was saying, she went missing in these very same woods. The rangers say her name was Cassie. She had gone on one of the overnight camps here at the camp. That first night when everyone was gathered around the campfire, the little girl ignored what she'd been taught about sticking with her camp buddy. She heard a little rustle in the nearby brush and thought she just might catch a bunny as a pet. She quietly snuck off after the sound. It wasn't very long until her camp buddy noticed that the little girl was missing and told her counselor about it. The rest of the girls were ushered back to their cabins and the counselors gathered their flashlights and set out to look for the little girl. A short time later, a terrible thunderstorm blew in, making it impossible to keep looking for the missing camper. The counselors decided it was best to turn back and continue the search after the storm except for one counselor who refused to give up. With her hair plastered to her face by the rain and the lightning flashing all around, she bravely walked into the woods, calling the little girl's name. The sound of her calling could be heard over and over until it faded away. When the other counselors arrived back at the cabin, they discovered that Cassie had found her way back on her own, except for a few scratches. She was okay. The violent storm continued through the night, but all was still again by morning. However, there wasn't sight nor sound of the counselor that had gone looking for her. They formed a search party, but the counselor was never heard from again. That was 10 years ago, but some people say you can still hear her ghost calling out the little girl's name. Cassie, Cassie. Listen, you can almost hear it now. All right, counselors. Ah! Ah! Oh, Eugene, you startled us. My apologies, campers. I just came to tell you all that it's time to get ready for bed. Didn't mean to startle you. I wasn't startled. No way. Yeah, right, Johnny. I heard you yell just as loud as the rest of us. No way. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> I think Jasmine's right. I heard you screaming pretty loud. We're not scared. No way, Adriano. You're right. Like, I don't know, dudes. You guys were screaming pretty loud. Yeah, I totally heard you too. Who? Us? No way. Yeah, Jasmine. We're not as scared as you. Right. Whatever, boys. Okay, campers, like I said, time for bed. Girls to your cabin and boys to yours. Don't forget to brush your teeth now. Lights out in 10 minutes. Okay, girls. Eugene's right. Time to brush our teeth and then head to bed. Yeah, like you dudes too. Aw, oh, man. Okay. I don't know, Tabitha. I think the boys were lying. They were scared. I heard them. I know they were screaming just like us. Yeah, I think you're right, Jasmine. I know for sure that I heard Adriano screaming. I know. They just don't want to admit it. I don't know why. What's the big deal? Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Tabitha. Are you guys done at the sink? 
Hang on a sec, Johnny. Okay, guys, it's all yours. Have a good night. You too, Jasmine. Hope you have a good night's sleep, Johnny. Hopefully you don't have any nightmares after those scary stories. You too, Adriano. Wouldn't want you boys not getting any sleep tonight. What are you talking about? We weren't scared. Yeah, we weren't scared at all. I don't know what you ladies are talking about. All right. Have a good night. See you in the morning. What were the girls talking about? They keep saying we're scared. I wasn't scared. Were you scared? No. Well, I wasn't scared. What was there to be scared about? Some silly story about some kid going missing in these very woods? Yeah. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Hey, Adriano. I kind of was scared a little bit. Okay, good, because I was really creeped out too. You were? Oh man, I wish I'd known. I thought I was the only chicken. No way. That's scary. Some kid going missing in these woods and they never found the counselor that went looking for her? It's like a ghost story, man. Yeah, I know. Come on, let's brush our teeth and then let's head back to the cabin. I don't want to be out on the trail when it's super dark. Yeah, totally. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, Adriano? I never really noticed, but it's kind of creepy here at night. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, do you think that story that Shay told was real? Or do you think she made it up? Mm, I hope she made it up. It creeped me out. Yeah, me too. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from over there. What? What's that? Oh! It's okay, Adriano. It's just an owl in a tree. <laughs> don't worry, it's nothing. Oh man, that totally freaked me out. Come on, let's go. Cassie. What? Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Cassie. You don't think. Cassie. Ah! It's the ghost of the counselor. We gotta get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Wait a second. I know that laugh. Yeah, it sounded like, hey boys. Jasmine and Tabitha. Hi guys. Should have known it was you guys. <laughs> oh, Johnny. You should have seen your face. It was so funny. <laughs> that wasn't very funny, Jasmine. Me and Adriana were really scared. Yeah. What's the big idea? What are you guys trying to do? Scare us to death? Sorry, we didn't really mean to scare you that bad. Yeah, we just wanted you guys to admit that you were actually scared from the story like us. Okay, fine. You caught us. We were scared. Happy? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Cassie. Cassie. <laughs> oh, man. We got you guys so good. Ha ha ha, Jasmine. Good one. Yeah, we're really laughing with you. But we thought it was funny. Yeah, well you just wait. You won't think it's so funny when it happens to you. What? No way. I totally know it was a fake. <sighs> Come on, Adriano. Let's go. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Cassie. Cassie. Jasmine, cut it out. That wasn't me, Johnny. What? Tabitha? Was that you? No. It wasn't. Who was that? L -l Look! In the tree! It's... It's the ghost counselor! Ah! Uh. Ah! 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 Run, Tabitha! Run, Jasmine! Like, good one, Shay. That was pretty funny, Shay. Oh, thanks, Chad. Hang on. Yeah, that'll teach those girls to tease the boys. Sha! Like... How'd you know they were going to do that? I overheard them after they were done brushing their teeth. I didn't think it was very nice of them to try to scare them. Nah, I think they totally learned their lesson. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, we better get back. They're going to be wondering where we are, and I gotta change. This is going to be one summer camp story that they won't ever forget. Sha, yeah, like, that's for sure. Come on, we better get going. Totally. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey!